Hello everyone, my name is Jordan, and welcome to another episode of the Bucket Coding Series. Now today we're going to be continuing our work on the Hub Project, or the Hub Mini Series, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm titling it Hub Project because, you know, it sounds pretty trippy in my opinion. Um, and actually, really quick, I just found that we can remove this equals true thing. Um, but yeah, so first of all, I was just looking through the code before I started this episode, and um, I think I figured out... Um, how we can prevent the um, this this permission node being defaulted every single time we load the config um, I think so um, I believe we're doing this a little bit wrong um, we didn't actually put uh, if if it is not a new file and I thought I was gonna actually do something more complicated than that so never mind um, so that kind of takes care of a lot of stuff uh, but we're actually going to do some game mode commands here, um, or some, not game mode commands, permissions. Um, so we're just going to do some stuff here. Um, let's see, there we go, so game mode command, what else do we want? We can just do a ton of stuff here, honestly. Um, uh, maybe like um, GC or status. Um, uh, we're actually going to do hub hub at dot admin dot command so any admin command will um, have dot admin um, so let's just do that that um, okay so I wanted to actually just do this really quick we're just gonna always want um, the first time we load up our file util class the first instance we make of it it's gonna generate the permissions file and any other files files we make um, just because I like to do it that way I'm actually gonna take these headphones off to start and bug me um, but just because, so if we do it that way, what this means is um, it'll just generate the file every, not every single time, but it'll generate the file um, if it doesn't exist. So that means the first time we ever start the plugin, it's going to generate the files before we even have to access it. Um, so this right here, this will never generate a new file. Um, this method won't. This one will. And then this method, so basically when we call... Um, uh, file util that get instance uh, so basically get instance so as soon as we type get instance um, I don't know if we're able to actually use that for whatever reason uh, but we call get instance and then we call get permissions file um, well now get permission this will not generate a file this um, the get instance method will um, and I'm not sure if that saves it I, I think it just makes it a little bit I'm not sure how, what that would do to affect too much stuff, but you know, th that's that's what I did. Um, so now I want to do some stuff with the scoreboard. So let's go ahead and make um, a manager's package. Uh, we can close off that. We're gonna make a scoreboard manager. Uh, it's gonna have the same stuff. It's gonna have the same singleton stuff that we had in the file util class, uh, except scoreboard manager, of course. Uh, so let's go ahead and create those scoreboard manager instance equals new scoreboard manager all that stuff um, yep 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 all right generate all the default stuff there uh, so public static scoreboard manager get instance in case you uh, need a refresher here and go ahead and do that so now we're gonna have two methods we're gonna have a public void uh, scoreboard for player player we're also going to have a public void scoreboard all oh, scoreboard board all and then just that we're going to import player and then we're going to say for player player colon bucket dot get online players and we're just going to call scoreboard for player what we can actually do is we can change this if you're we're, if you're using java 8 change it to this here i'm actually going to keep it as this just because I don't know when we push the plug into spigot, um, I don't know if we're gonna have to like if we make people use Java eight, that kills a lot of servers that are running off of dedicated boxes that they own. Uh, ho usually, um, the host that sources that you uh, the horse that's the host not the horse, the uh, the host that Soros uses, um, they use Java eight, um, which is actually. It's pretty pretty reliable in my opinion, and it's also nice to be able to use the latest version of Java. But 
On the other hand, some people are not going to be using Java 8, and some hosts might not support it for whatever reason. So we just got to make sure we're using, I think, Java 7, not even 6. We're going to ditch 6 on this project. Uh, but we are going to be using Java 8, so that may cause issues later down the road. But for now, it's okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to, um, upon scoreboard scoreboarding for a player, uh, we're going to generate a new scoreboard. So, yeah, there we go. So entirely new scoreboard. We are going to do some stuff here, and I actually did write some code on my iPad the other day, just as an in theory in here. So int y, we're going to say equals, uh, we actually have to do stuff in file manager, or file util before we do this. Uh, copy get permission, or this method here, we're going to make a get scoreboard file, get scoreboard file. Could make this data, but I'm going to make it scoreboard. Uh, yep. Okay, so now we don't even need to set this here. Uh, well, we just need to say, we need to make this. We need to also make a string list to set here. Lines equals new array lists. Okay, lines.add. Um, so we're just going to generate the scoreboard here. Uh, not too difficult in my opinion. So all we have to do is we can just to, uh, shove stuff in here. So we're going to say, I in six and L hub uh, hub project first line uh, and then next one is going to be in red or next few uh, please um, set uh, setup actually uh, the file scoreboard dot yml exclamation point. So this is going to be our, our scoreboard here. Um, and we're also going to say to return dot set. Um, what do we want to set? We want to set title to be comma. Well, actually, we can just change this to be the title. That works. Um, OK, remove that from lines. So this will be the, the body. And then this will be the title. Um, so that'll be our default here. So now that we've done that, oh, actually, forgot about this really quick. Uh, we just want to call it get scoreboard file. It doesn't change too much. It just makes it a little easy for me. Um, we're actually, we also need that convenience method in here. Uh, not convenience, but just nice methods. Uh, okay, so we're going to say get, so public list string. That's, we're going to, so we're going to have a method that will get us our lines. Uh, get scoreboard lines. We're gonna return get scoreboard uh, get scoreboard file dot get string list lines. We're also gonna have a public string get scoreboard title, and it's going to return get scoreboard get scoreboard file. Um, uh, whoops, get scoreboard file, and get string title. Uh, so now we can basically close out of that. Let's actually close out of a lot of things in here. We're gonna say for int y, and I just let y is just my integer value. You don't need to name it y, but I just have it as y. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, I'm gonna skip the scoreboard right now because I can't figure it out. Um, so that's okay. We'll get it in the next episode, and I'll actually post make a post on Spigot so we can figure out why exactly that doesn't work. Uh, if one of you actually knows how to load. A scoreboard from a file uh, please do let me know um, and I will definitely credit you for that because <laughs> you know I'm not the smartest person here um, you guys are probably smarter than me for a lot of different things but all right so now that we've done we've screwed around on that too much um, let's go ahead and do some basic configuration stuff yay more config uh, everything is gonna revolve around config because it's a, a user-based plugin so um, this is where we do the um, amazing stuff uh, called config file so we're gonna name this uh, CFG well I'm gonna name it config uh, so now we don't need we actually don't need lines um, we don't need really any of this um, all right so now what we can do is we can remove all that we can say we can just do some stuff with I think can we actually use comments? Um, I don't know how. I will definitely look into using comments in that uh, or in files. But we're going to go ahead and say, what do we need in a hub plugin? Well, 
we need a join das message. We'll set this equal to um, percent player percent left the server, or not join, not left, but joined. Uh, joined the server exclamation point. Um, whoops. I don't know why my IntelliJ does that. It's like copying the path of the file that we're in right now. It is very interesting. Uh, quit message is going to be left the server. Um, okay, so that's our config file. Um, <laughs> pretty easy, I think. So we're going to say get uh, config file to load that. We're going to say e dot set join message to be file file util dot get instance dot get config file dot get string join das message. Actually, if file util dot get instance dot get config file equal uh, dot get uh, dot get string join das message dot dot contains um, null so if it contains null you dot set join message or set join message null else so basically if the message is set to null it's not going to display um, a join slash quit message which is pretty nice in my opinion so let's go ahead and tweak around with this uh, all right let's go ahead and start the server up so let's generate a config dot uh, YML file. Uh, I'm gonna do actually make folders too. I'm gonna make subfolders like data folder and that kind of thing, just because folders are cool. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I actually folders are a nice way to um, what's it called organize stuff, especially in plugins. In my opinion, a lot of people don't actually like doing that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, we didn't do a few things there, so we need to say chat chat whoops wrong keyboard chat util dot format uh, this guy and then what we're gonna do is say dot replace whoops dot replace all percent whoop, percent what come on Perc ah no 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 where's percent percent player percent with e dot whoops no profile actually profile dot get player dot get name uh, so now that'll work properly <laughs> and it'll be formatted and everything correctly. Uh, quit message doesn't need to be anything right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and replace that. We're going to make some reload methods also for the config files. Uh, let's go ahead and slash leave or not slash leave, but leave. Uh, okay. So right now it, it is set as the defaults. Uh, it says my name is joining the server. Yep. It's all coolio. So let's go ahead and change this basically live. We're gonna set this to and six. Uh, well, actually, and six and l hub and f and f and l project. Uh, boom, and then and a player join server. Uh, bam. We'll go ahead and copy this guy over. Okay. And this time we're gonna say left. Boom, save, done. I'm pretty sure we can just literally relog and it'll update that message. I don't know though. Yeah, it all. So the way we have it set up is you can live edit all the stuff, which you know isn't a, always a good thing. And I'm probably gonna change that. Um, just because if we do it that way, that could present a few problems. Um, so yeah, if that is. I think almost about all I wanted to do this episode, which is kind of a waste. Um, well, I guess we can work on a few other things. Um, let's see here. Actually, if we... Yeah, so we changed the fly perm, it looks like. <laughs> that actually is an interesting permission node. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? Let's make let's do some stuff with data now, because data we love data. Just kidding, data sucks sometimes. Well, not really. Um, let's so we can change it from being live editable in a second, but for now, um, I'm gonna do some. Well, we'll we'll do that another time. It's not not needed right now. Uh, we're gonna say get get spawn file. 
uh, right here in the path we're gonna say slash data slash I think we actually need to put a slash at the end no promises though um, okay so if it's not a new file all we have to do is say generated um, it's no big deal we're gonna make some set spawn commands and that kind of thing we'll actually make a set spawn um, in here so we're going to implement listener. Oops, actually, I'll just copy it from Fly. This fly isn't that bulky. I don't think Fly will ever be bulky. It's a Fly command for fluff's sake. Um, okay, we don't need to do the Fly stuff here because they're not trying to fly. They're just trying to go to spawn. Um, let's say um, teleporting to spawn we can change this message later let people tell people do that actually we don't need teleporting um, we just need uh, set spawn successfully oh man uh, okay boom typo change to yep successfully all right hub action we're gonna say I'm gonna do this here Boop. Uh, comma oh come on this is why I absolutely hate doing stuff. So we're gonna name this guy, we're gonna name this one set spawn uh, command. So we're gonna say get permission for set spawn. File util, uh, let's go ahead and go to here. Status command we'll do soon, cause that'll involve a little more work. Uh, we're also going to make a slash spawn command. We're also going to make some stuff default. Um, like, well, people will be able to go into a default permissions.yml or permission or setup. Basically, they can fake file and say what permissions that people want or that you want to give people. Um, and it'll basically serve as a permissions plugin, too. Um, because I actually kind of just recently learned how to do a lot of stuff with that um, kind of thing. So, you know, um, permissions plugins are, in my opinion, kind of easier to do. Uh, it, all it is is just clean up or injecting permissions and then cleaning up later, which isn't isn't that difficult if you think about it. Um, all right, so we added set spawn command. Let's go ahead and go into this here. Or actually, fly. We need to say if this, then we're going to do this. Boom. Else profile. Let's send message. Chat util dot format. Actually, we don't even need to format it because it's inside a profile. Um, so we need to say, where is it? We, in fly, did we, yeah, we just defaulted it. Um, we're we're going to change that too. We're going to make it so people can change the denied message. Well, maybe we can make that a premium thing. Like you have to pay for the plugin for it to be changed. Uh, but I mean, developers can easily come along and change the messages if they decompile. But... You know, just something we may want to look into. Uh, let's actually register this command. Uh, it's set executor new set spawn command. Or not set spawn command. I think also copy. Come on, I hate that bug. Probably should update my IntelliJ. It's just like you must update. Uh, all right, commands spawn implements listener. Uh, okay, so every single action in in the basically the plugin it needs to be registered in here it's vital um, well not every action but most actions um, will need to be registered in here um, okay spawn command is done now let's go into spawn we can copy it from uh, fly fly is my go-to place for copying right now just because it's the first one we did if I can implement listener what was I thinking uh, okay, uh, spawn command, boom, inject this here, also need to go into set spawn to make sure I didn't mess that up, yep, I did, knew it, I knew there was a problem, um, alright, so, we're gonna go into here, uh, actually, yes, that's, that works, um, hmm, Ooh, that's actually probably something we need to do, public void, Save for file configuration. File configuration. Uh, what can we do with file configuration? Get um, name. I don't know what get name would print. Well, 
Uh, okay, so what we need to do, so we need to say in here, because spawn is going to be an, uh, in quotes, editable file um, by the plugin. So we need to say private file spawn file equal equals null. Just want to make sure we have a copy of that on hand. Um, and okay. We're also going to say spawn file equals file. Just to have a copy of it. Um, well, actually, we want to do this after we've done all of this. It's the very last thing we set spawn file. Uh, we're also going to uh, set set up this spawn file up here. Now in here we're going to say um, let's see here we'll file file uh, we're going to say file if file dot exists so if it is a real file then what we're going to do is we're going to actually save it so we need to say um, a file configuration fk equals yaml configuration configuration dot load from file and then fk dot save I think we'll do it um, and that makes an exception so try catch io um, alrighty, there we go. Perfect. So now we have a save method. Set spawn, we're going to use that method. So file util dot get instance dot uh, get spawn file. Uh, so this will constantly update that thingy, I think. Hold on. Uh, that set spawn to be. Uh, profile dot get player dot get location no. location dot to string I think it should work uh, so under spawn now we're gonna say let them spawn um, in here just going to say uh, teleporting exclamation point profile get player dot uh, teleport to be um file util dot get instance dot get get uh, spawn file dot get location can we not get location no we can't I don't wonder why well really quick we're just gonna kill this method off we don't well, we're just gonna let them say teleporting um because that's that's fine um so now what we're gonna do is we're going to say uh, okay, hold on. Let's see here. So as soon as that happens, we're just gonna say system out that print um, profile dot get player dot get location dot two string. So we're gonna print out what it looks like basically, just so just so I can get a look really quick. Um, cause I need to look at the code before I do anything. Am I am I opt? I don't probably not. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and start the server. And now let's go ahead and wait for it to actually load. <laughs> um oh, looks like we actually got an error. Twenty-two. Uh oh we didn't register these in the plugin that YML. That's okay. Uh so set spawn description set spawn spawn is going to be dis description spawn we don't need to do um, descriptions just yet not a big deal because um, we'll be able to um well never mind <laughs> I don't know what I, where I was going with that uh, alrighty so so we already have data it looks like because file manager was instantiated so we have data we have spawn Nothing in spawn. Let's go ahead and type in set, set spawn. Oh, permission name cannot be null. Uh, oh, that's because we don't have anything in permission. Let's go ahead and 
Let me reload or relog. Should generate new file. Or not, that's fine too. Okay, we need this file to generate. Permission, come here. Generate for us. There we go, there it is. All right, because we didn't have the updated file. Um, all right, perfect, slash set spawn. We're not opt, okay. I hate this. All right, opt, controls, there we go. All right, set spawn. So this is what it looks like here. That's, so that's, it's a little nasty in my opinion. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to, it looks like we're going to have to do some fancy splitting and other stuff, which is going to be nasty. So let's just copy this example here. Um, cause spawn isn't going to do anything. We are going to make a under profile. This is how we're going to teleport them. So it doesn't get messy. We are going to go under here. We're going to say public void to uh, teleport to spawn. We're going to just go ahead and boom, copy that. I'll go ahead and stop the server because it's lagging my computer. All right, so that's what it looks like. So uh, we're going to say file util dot get instance dot get spawn file dot get string spawn. We have the string, so string sp equals this. Uh, we're just going to name this sp raw. We could name it spawn raw, actually, if we're going to add raw at the end there. So spawn raw. So we're going to want to split at every single bracket. So we're going to say this is, this is um, if we split, that's zero. Then that's another one there, I think. And then we have to split at equal sign. Then we're going to have to split at comma then equal sign again okay so this is going to be a little complicated here just a tad well you know what we can actually change this so we're not just directly just doing this we can say um world equals plus uh profile dot get player dot get location i get world dot get name plus I'm gonna say comma x colon or x equals because if we want to have consistency, uh, profile to get player to get location I get um, get block. Well, actually, we're just gonna say get x, so it'll be exact. Uh, we're also going to say plus uh, profile. Oh, whoops. Plus um, comma y equals plus profile. Just all repetitive stuff at this point. Go Y. Uh, let's go ahead and go down one every single time we do this. Boop and whoops. One over there. All right. Um, okay. So now we have Z. Let's go, in, go ahead and modify that to, to get Z. Now we got to do pitch and yaw. So we're going to say plus, uh, and then just another plus, doesn't matter. So we need to actually say location, location equals new location. So I don't even need to care about this right now, actually. New location uh, from bucket. There we go. Control click on this buddy here. I think it's, yeah, control click. There we go. Um, so first one is yaw, second is pitch. That's all we needed to know. So we can kill this guy. Boom. So now we're going to say, yaw. Whoops. Uh, yaw. And then pitch. Right? Yaw pitch. Okay. Uh, so now first one here is going to say, get yaw. Get yaw. Next one is going to be, get pitch. We're done with that, basically. Um, so now we just gotta do some parsing. You know, not a big deal. We don't need this anymore, actually, because we have our own method. Um, so, spawn raw. Back to this again. So it's gonna come out looking something like this. Uh, X equals zero, Y equals zero, Z equals zero, yaw equals five, and then pitch equals 10. Um, 
or something like that. I don't need, like, these are all random numbers, doesn't matter. World equals, like, world or something like that. Uh, whoops, put out a comma. So it's going to look out exactly like that in the config file. And it's going to make probably no sense to your users, which doesn't matter because they can set this all up in game. If you, can, if you can confuse a user and there's a way to not confuse them in game, then they should be fine. That's my motto. <laughs> um, so now we're going to say is we're going to say world world equals bucket dot get world. Um, boom. I'm going to say get from spawn raw instance or actually we're going to say spawn raw dot split at equals. Well, actually we're going to split at comma zero, and then we're also going to say dot split again at equals index of one. That's our world, done, perfect. Now, we just say int x equals zero for now, int y equals zero, int z equals zero, int yaw equals zero, int pitch equals zero. We're gonna build a location from all that. So location, location equals new location uh, bucket from world x y z yaw x y z yaw and then pitch boom so now we have all that loaded basically except we don't fully um we're going to say double dot no 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 not double summary so what even is that uh double dot parse double from all this stuff uh, well, not all this stuff. We need to recopy it there. So all we have to do is increment this one every single time. Um, okay, we need to just set this to double, actually. My bad. Whoops. Don't think that needs to be double, but all oh, the other, t the yaw and the pitch. Well, actually, no, they do. Everything must be a double. <laughs> double. Oh, well, they have to be floats. Whoops, that's okay. Float and float. Float and double actually work pretty nicely together, so probably why that works. Uh, boom, and then we just need float dot parse dot parse float. I think dot parse float. Now we just gotta increment this by one every single time we go up. Four and five, because there's six arguments. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we stop at five, we start at one. Perfect, that looks nice. We're gonna say get player dot teleport location. Bam, done and done. And basically what this does is this takes our file and it splits it all up into different pieces. And then uh, because each, each section is split or is divided by a comma, and each mini section in quotes is split by an equal sign. So we're getting the second part of that. So the value behind whatever value or whatever thing. Uh, and then it should work as long as we don't change anything. <laughs> it should work. Um, so now we're basically done with this episode. And I'm going to have to do a heck of a lot of editing on this, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and copy paste this over. Uh, and then we can start the server up. And then I'm going to outro this and go to sleep. <laughs> That's really how this is going to work, because I'm tired. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and wait for the server to load. Oh, I have a cat under my desk. Hello. My cat is cute. I sound like I'm insane, but, you know, I am. That's okay. Um, all right, let's go ahead and join the server. And then type in uh, slash set spawn. I think it's still, it's still going to print what we said, but that's okay. Uh, so I set spawn, boom, set spawn successfully. Okay, perfect. So now, didn't, did, do we actually make it teleport? No, we didn't. Um, profile dot, uh, teleport to spawn. All right, so there we go. We are basically done there. And if we actually take a look, really quick at our data our spawn uh, it's blank huh. we didn't save I think that's okay we can fix that in just a sec not in just a sec we can save really quick 
Um, set spawn is where we need to use save. Uh, file util dot instance dot save for. I'm gonna have to change the save method up in a well next not next episode but soon. Uh, unless this doesn't work, then I'll. Yeah, it does work. It doesn't work, so I'm gonna have to save this or do this really quick. Uh, we're going to make a uh, private list or private map file configuration file data map equals new hash map kv. There we go. Key and value, my friends. Uh, whoops, that's weird why it's doing that. Um, okay. So we're gonna do here is so we're gonna say data map dot put to return file. We can literally copy this over every single speaking thing because we use the same template. Uh, which is awesome. So now instead of save for file file, we're going to use save for file configuration fk. So we can remove this method here, remove this method there. Don't even need to do that. We're going to save for data map dot get for fk. And we have now successfully saved our data. Fire util dot get instance dot save for okay, file util. Actually we're just gonna save for FK. We're gonna say file configuration file uh, FK equals that. Um set. Oh well we can do is we can say fk dot set. Boom, fixed. And now we can go ahead and compile really quickly. We've now compiled and we can now copy this, put it in here. We have a nice working system now, I think. Set spawn. We can now look in hub project to data, go into spawn and there we go. So we can now see we have spawn and the world name, the X, the Y, the Z, the pitch, the yaw, and everything. So if we look, it'll put us exactly where we were. Exactly. So if we look up, it's going to put us there too. Uh, so if we look down, it's now going to look up. Perfect. Exactly how you looked, just like, uh, I believe, Essentials. So, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and don't ask why I'm a duck, by the way. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, comment down below suggestions and things you want to see added to the plugin. Uh, I will see you guys all in the next video. Take care.